Hey guys, all right. Dr. Chef here. This is Dr. Chef's Crypto. Welcome to the site. Um, this thing's called an AMA, Ask Me Anything, AMA. Those are popular terms from places like Instagram. We're out there a little bit Instagram, haven't done too much Twitter, some Facebook, but we're really sort of YouTube-based. Anyway, um, I've been getting some questions periodically over the last few months just about, you know, usually it's from people that I know from other walks of life asking me how this all fits together. Uh, some specific questions, those are usually answered on the other videos. So things about crypto, things about what wallets to use or how to process things or secure things, all that stuff's already been answered on some of those videos. Please check those out. As always, you know, please like and subscribe and do all that because we don't have that many followers. A lot more people are not subscribed that send me messages. So if you're not subscribed and checking this out, please do all that. It helps me out, um, support the channel. But this is just going to be a quick one about personal stuff, just kind of answering people's general questions. So let's jump right into it. As you know, I'm called Dr. Chef. There's obviously a reason for that. Hey, this is me. And as you've seen some of the videos, you may have seen some of this stuff, you know, beautiful, wonderful things behind me in my office. This is my office. I'll just show you around all kinds of books and, and various other printers, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, this is my office, and obviously, um, I've got all kinds of crazy things in all directions. And so people ask me questions about stuff that's behind me, or if they know me for, from other walks of life, they might ask me things like, hey, I thought you were a chef or whatever. So I'm going to start with all of those type of questions. Yes, so chef is my main career. Um, actually, next year is 40 years. So it was May of 1982 uh, during the summer uh, in high school that I first set foot in a restaurant professionally. Um, I was a dishwasher and started being a cook and flipping some pizzas at a neighborhood pizza, pizza joint back in 82. So I'm coming up on 40 years, during which time I've had just an, a ton of uh, success and happiness and joy and a lot of stress. Obviously, being a chef is very stressful, but I've done all these things, you know, a bunch of openings, 24 openings, uh, and started my own restaurants and had TV shows and all kinds of stuff like that. That's kind of the main career. However, I was always into education and learning. My whole life, I was a super geek. Like, I just loved learning stuff. I wish my kids would have inherited the vast joy of education that I have, but they didn't really like school, most of them very much. I am just a major school person. Like, I mean, I love, 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 love school. Always did. I was the guy who hung out in the teacher's lounge and had to have extra classes and do extra credit. I mean, big dork. I get it. It's a big dork. But for me, it was about learning. I always wanted to know stuff. And this is going to explain sort of the answers to these questions about how it all works. So, my first time teaching was 1990. I've been a teacher for over 30 years. Um... So loving teaching, loving education my entire life. Always a go-getter, always entrepreneurial. When I was younger, I had paper routes, and I used to trap mice in the barn and sell them as pets at school. And, you know, I was always just an entrepreneurial go-getter from probably the earliest age. I remember melting some crayons on the heaters in the back of the class, kindergarten or first grade, making little figurines, trying to sell them. So I've always been like that. Um, now, when it comes to my belief system, and this is what a lot of people know me from, okay, so I am a very big believer. I've always been Christian, but the last couple decades, it's really ramped up. I am what the wonderful church that I attend likes to call a passionate follower of Jesus Christ. I am um, I'm a big-time believer, and I've got lots of miracles in my life to prove it. If you're a fan of mine or you're a friend of mine or you don't have sort of that in your life and you have questions like, oh, aren't all Christians just judgmental jerks? Or, oh, man, what about the stuff on the news or about the world being this old? Or, all those things, look, just shoot me an email, shoot me a text, get hold of me. 
Um, I have no problem talking about any of that stuff. My door is always open. I myself have had miracle after miracle in my life. I don't consider it to be faith at all. I know that's crazy for you like rational, scientific type of guys who don't believe in that kind of thing. Sounds like I'm crazy. I'm not. I'm not. I'm very analytical. I'm very smart. I'm, this is a lifelong journey. Okay. You have to trust me when I tell you that when you get a certain pile of evidence to a certain extent, you're going to have to go that direction just based on logic and reasoning. And that's what I've done. So if you have questions about that, if that seems weird to you, please, I'm always here, always willing to talk. So that's uh, that's the believer side. So that ended up with all my education. So my first degree was in English and education. Started teaching 1990. Um, other degrees and all kinds of stuff over the years. Love, love, love to learn. But eventually, my love to learn and faith bring me to seminary, which turns into another degree and another degree, which eventually is a PhD in theology. So I'm a theological professor. That's where the doctor comes from. So theology questions, anything about the Bible, Bible history. Um, I'm a specialist in New Testament as well as Bible continuity. I can uh, tell you the history of things. Uh, for instance, the fact that people think there are missing books or people think that this things was pick, pick and choose kind of a thing by humans. None of that's historically accurate. And I can provide lots of evidence for that if you're curious. Also studied archaeology at Oxford. So I've got a little archaeology slash biblical thing going on too. I know it sounds crazy, especially when you realize my family's been distilling 130 years. I learned how to run a still in the mountains of North Carolina when I was a kid, and I run a distillery. So a pastor, distiller person doesn't make any sense, especially to my southern relatives. Combining that with, you know, being a chef, I mean, it sounds crazy. It's hard for me to explain. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's being Irish, okay? You know, Guinness saved the St. Patrick's Cathedral. Guinness was a mission organization. You need to look up God and Guinness if you have questions about how that all works. Or read about the first miracle of Jesus making wine at a wedding. I'm not in charge, guys. I'm not in charge. I just do, um, you know, what I'm told, basically. I have a strong belief system and all these things fuse together within my personality and my belief system. That's all I can tell you. I, I, I love you. I appreciate your opinion. I definitely don't want to throw any roadblocks down in front of anybody struggling with anything. I totally get it. But I, I, I am who I am. God is in charge. He's telling me what to do. He's open to distilleries. I don't know what to tell you. Now, all that stuff. So, doctorate, uh, master's, um, other training, you know, all that, loving education, loving teaching, all that combining with business opening, entrepreneurs. So lifelong entrepreneur, multiple businesses, uh, restaurants, etc. opening another one soon. I mean, how crazy is that? All that comes together with just your knowledge of how much I love learning. That's my gifting. That's teaching and learning is who I am. So now here we come with this crypto stuff. Now, I've known about it for a couple years, and unfortunately, when I first heard about it, I didn't put everything into it, which I should have, because then um, this would be a solid gold screen that you're looking on, and there would be no poverty left in Africa because I would have so much money. So unfortunately, I thought it was weird, just like so many people, basically 99.9% .9 of the people Thought it was weird when they first heard about it. Sounds like computerized monopoly money. Sounds like somebody's making up a scam. None of that was true. It was a really big, important thing that happened. But I didn't get that. Now, over the last couple years, I've been paying a little bit more attention. But not too long ago, year-ish, whatever, not too long ago, somebody said to me, what about this? And then someone else. But my son said, hey, what about this crypto thing? Now, I'm not the guy that just answers the question and says, hey, uh, this is just nonsense, because I didn't know. I am an education lover. 
I'm not a person, I hope and pray, that just answers off the cuff and just says whatever. I don't just go with my just general ideas or belief system. I go with facts and knowledge about things. And I really didn't know how to answer the question. And that triggered me. People have mental illness. There's a discussion of things called triggering. Well, my thing is OCD and studying and learning like a crazy person all the time. And this triggered me. It made it so I just had to learn enough about crypto that I could comment not with knowledge. Keep in mind that where I come from is horrifying. Now, you don't necessarily know that whole story. There's other stuff out there on the Internet about that. But I come from a very bad background in a lot of ways, very tough background in a lot of ways. And it was um, ignorant in a lot of ways. And I had to escape. So by the time I was a late teen, I had dedicated my life to learning and knowledge. Okay? So I made an, a vow to myself to, to, before I died, I would know, you know, something about everything. I'd, I know everything about a few things. I would know something about everything. And nothing about nothing. That's a little bit of a poetic phrasing. But what it means is, I would know nothing about nothing. I would know something. There wouldn't be any subjects that I couldn't have some type of commentary on based on some type of learning. And I got a long way to go, but I've been working hard on it. So this triggered that instinct to learn. I must have done 10 hours of study in the first day, 40 or 50 hours the first week. That's been months and months and months ago, and it's just been nonstop, absorb, absorb, absorb. I have lots of, you know, thank God, uh, you know, blessings and gifts. And, and, and one of those gifts is my ability to learn quickly. Um, I write quickly. I've written many books, uh, some of them fast because I write quickly. I learn quickly. These are all God-given gifts I'm so grateful for, big blessings. But I was able to just learn, 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 learn. And after doing that for a while, just like when I was a chef for all those years and I turned around and opened up a culinary school, it's giving back. You know, one of the greatest chefs of all time was a man named Ferdinand Point. He said it's the duty of all great chefs to teach the next generation. Well, that's always been my motto, whether it was, you know, in the chef world or otherwise. I've always wanted to learn and to teach. And so crypto took over another section of my life, learning and studying um, for hundreds and hundreds of hours. And that's resulted in this channel and all those videos that you can see if you look out there. So that's basically who I am. I know it's hard for some people, distiller, pastor, chef, crypto expert, writer science you know science fiction fantasy writer i have a book in the you know in the publisher right now that's sort of like a hobbit kind of thing i know that's crazy it's not me it's divine gifts and it has to do with my just desire to learn and teach and grow and i'm just energized all the time in that direction so i hope that that is uh, the main overview it answers about i don't know 75 percent of the questions uh, that are personal. I would say maybe 30% of the questions, 40% of the questions are personal. The other 30 or 40% has to do with crypto, which have been answered in the other videos. Uh, things like, what kind of wallet do you recommend? Or how do you do this safely? Or what about security? Um, what, you know, what, what, you know, site do I need to use or what kind of platform? All that stuff's on other videos. Please look that up and get all those answers. The other 10 or 20% have just been funny questions, and I'll answer a couple of those real quick. Let me see. So, yeah, the, the first, like, 8 out of 10 questions is about what about being a chef or what about a, being a pastor or whatever, all that kind of stuff. And I, I think I've explained that. Let me see. Uh, here, <laughs> There's some funny ones. Um, how about this one? How about what's up with the K-pop references? Okay, 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 okay. This is a total side note, but a couple times in various presentations, I've mentioned things that had to do with K-pop, uh, primarily BTS and Blackpink. I know, I know, I know. Same thing, not nearly as big as, you know, crypto or, you know, whatever, distilling or chef or whatever, but same thing, this desire to learn. 
a couple years back, I had stumbled upon some kind of K-pop song that I really liked. I think it was the one with BTS and, and Halsey, Boy Would Love. Anyway, I'm like, I, I liked it. I was trying to figure out what's going on. And then I started looking at K-pop bands, could not figure out what's happening. Then a lot of them had so many people, I just could not even fathom it. I'm like, you know, twice, for instance, as twice as many people as they should. Anyway, it, it turned into studying. It wasn't as big as or, or as deep as something like crypto at all. It was just, you know, I don't know, a couple hundred hours. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm crazy. Okay, I get it, I get it. But I just started studying crypto. I want to know where it came from, and does it relate to you know what is what is the like BTS crypto boy band? How does that relate to our boy bands from the '90s? Is it related? And so I got this study and this history, and learned all this stuff about all these different members and how they do things in in Korea. Anyway, and I have Korean friends. One of my best friends is Korean. He has me watching some of the Korean shows and all this other stuff. So it just kind of added this little weird section. I had a meeting, a really big, high-powered meeting a, a year or two ago with a bunch of guys from various big cities like L.A. and Chicago. And one of the guys was from China, and he was a, a Korean um, Chinese guy. And he said... Um, I said something about... They, they thought I was kidding. He mentioned something, and I talked. I was talking about... Um, K-pop, and he thought I was kidding. So yeah, um, my kids suggested I use the online um, name K-Papa <laughs> and do videos about K-pop because I know so much about K-pop. I know way too much for an old white guy. I know way too much about K-pop. Uh, but that's just my learning thing. I mean, it. if I had my car break down and didn't have anybody to help me, I would just study the heck out of fixing car i mean whatever it is i want to know everything i want to know as much stuff as i can and it's really been a big gift and a big blessing in my life it's enabled me to do plenty of amazing wonderful things that's a huge blessing to love learning and to have the motivation and the energy to just learn 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 so um anyway uh, what else what else i'm a little thing let me see all right the, the, the uh, martial arts stuff. Yeah, the only thing I've been doing longer than cooking is martial arts. I don't do it anymore. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm an old white guy. Okay, I don't do a whole lot of that. But I did a whole lot of that. 90s, uh, I fall off through the 90s MMA style. 9 and 2 record, couple of championships and you know, minor level stuff. Um, biggest person I fought, um, I got choked out hard. Totally unconscious by Tito Ortiz. That's pretty cool, right? For those of you who know anything about a you know anything about MMA or UFC, yeah, I traveled to Atlanta. He was at this giant gym. I was working out with these guys in Atlanta. This is the '90s, and I was sparring with him before he was famous, and he just destroyed me. Um, I lost a lot, but I won more. I won more. Okay, but I haven't had a fight since like '97. I mean, what that's like 25 years or something. So, anyway, but like Toby Keith said, hey, I'm as good once as I ever was. So you know, I'm going to be uh, in traction if I have to use that stuff um, for a few weeks and be on some pretty heavy duty pain meds. But I still have some of that knowledge. If you want to know anything about the history. Like I said, mix that with Giant Geek, right? So the whole history of the Gracie family, the whole history of martial arts, all the way back to wrestling in India, coming through China and going to Japan. I know the whole history of martial arts and all that stuff. I'm like, I'm, I'm an uber dork, you guys. That's the bottom line. I'm just a super uber dork who loves to learn stuff. A good, a, a, a fancy, complimentary way of saying it would be one of the masters of useless knowledge. That's what we used to say uh, in, in my peer group when I was younger. But I would say Grand Marshal of the Dork Parade. And um, yeah, like my wife says, I have no idea. Whenever I say something extra dorky, which is pretty often, she says, I have no idea how you ever got a girlfriend. And, you know, she's wanting to talk. She married me. It's her fault, right? So she... <laughs> Uh, very happily married. My wife is amazing. My family is amazing. Um, I think that's it for now. Most of the other questions have to do with wallets and 
security protocols. Um, recently, there's been a couple hacks that have, people have lost some money. And, of course, everybody wants to know what to do and what to invest in. Guys, there's like thousands of cryptos. you got to get one early if you want to get a big gain. When you get one early, you can't tell it's going to work. So this is really the trading thing to make a bunch of money. is super dicey. It's the same thing as gambling. Long term, I would highly recommend investing long term into crypto. It's a much more secure asset. And I'm going to make another video probably today or tomorrow on general financial information about how savings accounts work and crypto work. So you might want to check that out. Anyway, that's just a quick who am I for anybody who's curious. They're on here, you know, I have some people following that I've never met, you know, so that now they know, now they know a little bit about who I am and why there's a Bitcoin, Ethereum poster, but also against poster, but also a cross behind me because those are the things that kind of represent me in a lot of ways. Uh, obviously, the one in the middle is by far the most important to me, but um, this is all stuff that I've learned about and I love. Um, but there's a pretty big gap between uh, my faith and knowledge and, and teaching, but that's kind of the story of my life is just absorbing and learning and doing anything I can to help people, right? Whether it's trying to build a coloring school in Africa, still working on that. If you got money and time, help me out with that. But, you know, there's all kinds of projects like that that I try so hard, but it's hard. You know, it's hard to do everything. And um, then the bottom line is I just love to learn. And all this stuff, the most recent, most in-depth study I've done for the last year has been crypto. It's pretty vast, so I can hopefully help you with anything. Go check out some other videos and, and, and take a look at some of the stuff. I started posting videos uh, six months ago or whatever. So go check some of those things out. And as always, ask me anything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me anything. So I'll switch back to this, and I'll say good night, farewell. Thank you guys for playing. You're awesome. Dr. Chef's Crypto at gmail.com or uh, put a comment. Please like and share with everybody. Get the word out. We need to help as many people as we can. People are buying high and selling low and losing their money right and left and don't understand safety. And they're, A Bitcoin is stolen every five minutes, you guys, because people aren't paying attention. And that's forty to sixty thousand dollars people are losing every five minutes because they don't know security. They're not paying attention. So please like and share this. Subscribe to it in case we put up new videos. And please, uh, you know, do anything you can to support the channel. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are awesome. Talk to you soon.